All right, well, this is exciting. Uh, auto U-turn. I posted the code earlier, and it is a mess of if statements and whatever. There's a lot of combinations and possibilities that go into deciding which way to turn and whether you should turn, whether you can turn, all that sort of thing. But basically, U-turn now. You can choose your turn shape. You can do custom and record new. And drive and record it as Sean saw in another video. And the auto U-turn, you can turn it on, and you can adjust where it turns in res with respect to the boundary line. So here, eight, me eight meters after the boundary line, it'll trigger, or say 15 meters before, because we have a 15 meter width on the implement, and that's on the inside. If we want it to turn right. At the start of that, we go 15 meters before the boundary line. And then we save that. So as we drive along, the way this works, first thing it does is this is a bounding box, these purple lines. I left all the helpers and cheaters on for this video because a lot of this will be turned off, of course, when it's normal. And this is the distance from the pivot point to the boundary. It also the entire time it'll also be displayed here. How far are you from the other end of the field? I think that's pretty handy. But 50 meters away from the boundary line becomes a trigger point. Now if you're in AB line mode and if the steer switch is on and if contour isn't on and if you're going straight and if you're not some funky angle on the pure pursuit, all of those things have to be right before it will trigger a turn. Now I was thinking a lot of systems you have to choose. A window pops up and chooses left or right. But I thought, well shit, how do I do it in a tractor? I look over and I see that this side is done and I see that this side isn't done. So I thought, why not do the same thing? So what I do is do it the same way I do section control. I take a scan of the bottom sorry, on either side of the implement and if it's applied on this side and not applied on this side, well, we got to make a right turn and vice versa go on the other way. So technically, you should be able to do the whole field without touching a single thing. You can still choose left and right turns here, and you can cancel, and I'll show that in a bit. But the whole thing is, is the program should be smart enough which direction to go. And if you want to cancel it, then you can. But you shouldn't have to select it and OK it and all that other BS. Um, it should just turn. And uh, so let's get going here. Again, it triggers at 50 meters away, and we want to, because we set it 15 meters from the line, that's where it should trigger. So this box here is, is uh, the same way it detects contour. If a point is lying this way of the line and this way of the line, and this way of a line, that means it's inside the box. So you count up the points in here, find the closest one to the to the pivot point, and that becomes your reference point, and there's your boundary. So here we're coming down to 56 meters, so right at 50, it should trigger. And trigger. Now it starts counting down to this point. So here, this is our progress bar to where the turnaround point comes on. We can go a little faster. Or maybe not. So as we get there, we get there, it keeps counting. It keeps counting up on the trigger point. We keep getting closer. And then as soon as the pivot point hits 15 meters away, and this guy also tells you that we're going to turn right. And how's it know to turn right? Because this is applied and this isn't. And there, now we can whip around the corner. Now we're, we're outside of the bounds, so there is no bound. Now we're back in again. Now we can get a distance. Turn is done. It disappears all on its own. So we haven't had to told, tell it to do anything. It already knows, and we just look and see and if, it's, if it's right. So here we're coming up on, on 50 again. So 
trigger and now it turns the other way but how does it know if there's no applied on this side no applied on this side then we just go the opposite way that we turned the last time if uh, something goes wonky at the line it'll just cancel the turn if we're off or if the uh, steering is off or the pure pursuit angle is too high or if the, the air track is too much then it just aborts the turn so you don't even have to touch anything, you can just abort the turn just by turning the steering wheel. Um, it will still work for uh just gotta get there, get lined up. You can still manually make the turn, cancel it. See here? Now we can just cancel the thing. And it's done. Oops, I meant to turn it. Oh, I didn't. I want to go this way. So in that regard, it's uh, it's quite flexible. Like I say, the coolest part is you don't even have to know which way it's going to turn. It'll figure that out for you. So yeah, that's uh, auto turn. Seems to work quite well. Anyway, uh, looking for some feedback on whether or not or if this is if people think this is workable I think it is but um, I added another status line in here it's for roll and your steering angle and gyro and how far you are from away from the end of the field uh, I can put some other stuff in here and uh, yeah when you turn turn this auto on then uh, it should show up here make a bit I'll make a better button give a little bit more feedback what's on what's not and uh, We'll go from there. Anyway, thanks.